Hello, friends. I have been a Helix user for several months now, and I am to the point where I don't want to play through anything else. The thing that I like about it most is not just the fact that it has modeled so many classic amps in here, but I like the ability to make these amps sound even better than the originals that they were modeled on. So let me start off by talking a little bit about the way tube amplifiers work. Tubes work on direct current. And obviously, the circuit that you plug your amplifier into from your wall is alternating current. That has to be converted to direct current in order for your amplifier to work properly. And we all know from our experience with HUM that that 60 cycle AC can produce an audible noise inside of the circuitry. So one of the tricks that early engineers had to deal with was how do we keep any of that 60 cycle hum from getting into the tube amp circuitry. It's very difficult to do and it's never been solved completely. The first way that the hum can creep in is in the heaters in your tubes. The tubes have to be hot in order to operate, so the cathodes on the tubes have heater circuits on them. That's that glow you see when you turn your amplifier on. Those are powered by AC. So even though it's stepped down to 6 or 12 volts, you still have a 60 cycle circuit that's producing the heat for your tubes. That is one way that the 60 cycle hum can leak in. The other way is what's called AC ripple. And in the rectifier circuit in the amplifier where the alternating current is converted to DC current, every time that there is a power cycle, there is a little blip that is introduced into it. Uh, when it's converted to DC. And they use capacitor networks to try to filter out as much of that as they can. It can't be done completely. Um, and luckily these geniuses at Line 6, in doing such precise modeling of amplifiers, they include the heater hum and the AC ripple in separate modeling blocks that we can tweak and do some cool things with. Now, I'm going to fire up HX Edit and show you the first way to get your amplifier sounding even better. So what I've opened up here in HX Edit is the US Small Tweed model, which is based on a Fender Champ that was produced between 1958 and 64, the ones that were tweed covers but had an 8-inch speaker in them. We've got a lot of controls down here. Sag, hum, ripple, bias, bias X. We're going to get into all those in other videos, but right now, these are the first two things that we're going to do. Hum. This is the heater hum that's been incorporated into it. Let's remove that. Now, on this particular model, the important one is the AC ripple that's right here. And I'm going to turn this up so you can just hear what this amp sounds like with nothing being plugged into it. And now I'm going to turn the ripple off. Magic! Can you imagine the Fender engineers that were spinning in their grave when the Line 6 people said, well, let's add the hum and the AC ripple in. These guys who sweated blood for years to try to get rid of this stuff. Okay, well, anyway, we've gotten rid of it. And as you can tell already, that amplifier is not humming anymore. Now let's see how it affects the sound. I'm going to put the hum and ripple back up to the settings at 5 where they were. I'm going to play a few licks for you. Okay, now I'm going to turn them down play the same licks. To me, that's just a lot more focused, tighter. It still retains the amp character. You don't have that intermodulation distortion from the 60 hertz affecting your lows and your highs. This is the first step
to creating even better amp sounds in the factory models in the Helix. Get rid of the hum, get rid of the ripple in your amp models. And if you're ready to join the Helix family, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call or talk to them online. We'd love to get you into the 21st century of amplification. And I'll have more tips coming your way soon. Have a great one.